Hello everybody and welcome to this very impromptu live feed and the reason why it's impromptu is that um, I had a box show up in the mail and I started to open it and I remembered as I was about to open it up that the person who sent to me said it would be really great if you could open the stuff that I sent you on air um, and although I did buy it from him I, I guess that was part of the deal and I gotta be a man of my word so we're gonna do a mystery box opening we're gonna do a box opening it's not much of a mystery it, the mystery to me is I don't know what condition things are and what is included. Um, I do have an idea what's in there, but we're gonna flip it around and do a video. Um, I am gonna flip this camera around and we'll get this open up and I see lots of people joining us right now. We've got Diecast Dave and uh, all sorts of folks from all over the place in the United Kingdom. So let me get the box opened up here. Do -do 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 -do. Now, sometimes people watching at home have collectibles of their own and they say, well, we don't know what to do with them or we want to sell them. Do you buy stuff? And I go, yeah, that's what I do. I buy stuff. And this was one of those scenarios. Somebody watching at home um, was uh, interested in selling me some stuff. Zoltar is piping up over there in the background. You'll hear him occasionally as I am open for the day. And in fact, we've had a couple special guests walk in. We have a Dutch Monica, AKA Woody Two Shoes, <laughs> cause she's Dutch and uh, Bob the Bottle Man. Hello. They're both at the shop here today and they're both gonna witness me going through this box here live. Um, so without further ado, let's get things open. So first things first, I can tell looking at this card locker, this is a very early storage box for sports cards. So with any luck, there will be some early sports cards in here and not all new stuff. So you can kind of tell when I'm looking at boxes full of sports cards, I can get an idea of the age just by looking at it from this angle here. You can see the heavier card stock, the fuzzy edges, those are gonna be older. And the crisper, tightly packed, those are probably gonna be 1990s stuff and maybe not as interesting, but let's bring some of these out. Yes, as suspected, these are 1991 CFL cards and they're basically um, kind of worthless. This is a 1977, is that, uh, that looks like a uh, Charlie's Angels card. Maybe there's some old stuff mixed in. I'm less excited about the new stuff, unless there's like a uh, Kobe Bryant rookie card or something in there, and more excited about what the old stuff is. And I'm just gonna kind of get a sampling for what's in here. So I do see some old NFL cards going back to the 1970s. In fact, what year is this? 1975, and condition looks to be pretty good. Now, I will admit that I don't know anything more than some of the very basic names and celebrity names um, from early card players. So I will have to do a little research on those and see if there's anything potentially good. It is a little bit easier for me to spot star cards when it comes to hockey cards, like Stan Makita is a little bit better, Yvonne Cornier, Bernie Parent, those are all stars, Brad Park, Lou Pinella scratch off card, weird. Okay, maybe there's some old stuff in here. Um, and that's kind of exciting. We'll have to do some digging and see what we've got. And that will probably be something that I'll take home for later to try and sort through because there isn't gonna be enough time for me today to dig through this entire box of sports cards. But I can see wacky packages, at least the back of a wacky package, yep. You guys remember these? They would take brand names like Hawaiian Punch and turn it into Hawaiian Punks. <laughs> Beats you to a fruit, juicy pulp. They still make them, I think. I believe they still make wacky packages. In fact, I have a collection of these going at home myself. And the earlier ones are a little bit more challenging to find, especially in decent condition. Um, so we've got some wacky packages, uh, Charlie's Angels cards. It looks like some what they call non-sports cards in the mix here. And those would be basically anything that isn't a sport. Some nice early baseball in the mix. And again, I'll have to go through all this and see if there's any stars. There's a lot to go through. I'm, that's going to be fun for me for later to sort through that. But let's continue looking through the rest of the box here. It looks like we've got a Edmonton Oilers mug. And Bob, your your family is are Oilers fans, are they not? My, my dad is a huge Oilers fan. Your dad is a huge Oilers fan? Well, it's not a bottle, but it is a tumbler. Let's see, what do we got going on? Oh, look, there's a uh, Sizzler Hot Wheel, Redline Hot Wheel toy inside of it. 
You think your dad would have use for this? As a gift to your dad for me, Bob. You can tell that Alex gave you a uh, Edmonton Oilers tumbler that he, he can... Would, he'd be very happy. Okay, well, you can you can hang on to that. I don't sell a whole lot of glassware. Something I could sell, but since Bob's dad is an Oilers fan, we can pass that right along to him. More sports cards. These are in holders. We've got uh, pamphlets and brochures. Hello. Whoa. All kinds of fun stuff. These would have come inside the packages as well. And uh, I'm just seeing if there's any big names right off the bat. Not seeing a whole lot of super duper knockout stuff. I'm sure there's gonna be a few cards in here worth. It's, a, it's funny that I'm getting sports cards in at the exact moment that I'm doing an auction for sports cards. We have a big auction happening right now until January 15th of tons of really rare sports cards. Whenever I get collections like this in, I was pulling all the very best ones out and all those very best cards are what we put through the sale. I'll have to do the same with this lot. We'll go through and we'll see if there's anything worth putting out. But this is kind of what I want to get down to. If you know me by now, you'll know that I kind of get excited. Oh, look, it even still has the, uh, oh, this is a, maybe it's a replica case. Yeah. Super rally case. Oh, maybe not. Reproduction of 1968 version. Okay. It is a replica. Well, that's too bad. That would have been cool if this was an original. Hopefully the cars inside are original and not replica too. Hopefully there's cars inside at all. And yes, we do have toy cars. We've got some red lines in various conditions. Some of them um, worse than others. Now you'd be surprised. Somebody's put hockey tape on here for stripes and they brush painted it, but I'm gonna try my best when I get home. I have a technique uh, using Q-tips and a little bit of nail polish remover. And you can get sometimes that brush painted paint off and get the car right back to its original paint. But uh, as a six shooter, nitty gritty kitties. Um, there are a few decent cars in the mix here. So a red line case full of red lines is still a nice find either way. Um, and there's sometimes variations. That, I think that's a Johnny Lightning. Yeah, that's a topper Johnny Lightning. I can tell because it kind of looks like a red line, but it's not. So there's all kinds of fun stuff in here. Looks like I'm going to have a few things to take home with me and uh, sort through and look up because uh, there's just some neat things. Unfortunately, some of these have been repainted. That's been touched up with nail polish or something along the lines. Uh, so, but then there's a couple in here that are a little bit better. So uh, certain cars, like anything, are worth more than others. You just got to go through and sort through the, the better stuff from the... Uh, lesser quality stuff and and see what can be done with it but that's a nice little collection there we got a few little uh tobacco tins black cat apparently my great grandmother used to smoke this stuff my dad said it was the most vile horrible nasty stuff you've ever had in your life that's what my great grandma liked she was tough as nails apparently and some little uh goodies in there so fun little box all together i guess what i have to do for the rest of the day is, well, I'm gonna pack the things up that I wanna take home to look at and go through in more detail, like the sports cards and the, the toys. Maybe we'll put this one back inside the case. But I'm also preparing right now and getting ready for an auction sale that is happening in February. So I'm gonna walk my way down here. You can see I've got boxes and boxes and boxes full of stuff that are gonna be piled up here. And every day I take a hundred things down to the auction house as we prepare to, to do our sales. So we've got train lanterns, um, toys, accessories, collectibles, um, all sorts of stuff that's been hanging around the store. And I'm just going to do a big clean sweep around the shop and just kind of tidy up the shelves and make it look fantastic. But um, really, that's been the mission for the past day or so is just getting things cleaned up around the shop. I still have to take these darn Christmas lights down too. Um, we put these up around the holidays and I just haven't crawled back there to take them down. It, I, maybe I just wish it was Christmas all year round. Uh, so got to load the truck up. And for those of you wondering, the temperature outside is somewhere around minus 38, I think they said with the wind chill. Hopefully the truck starts. There it is out there, all forlorn waiting for me, wondering why it's sitting outside. I will, um, get it out there before too long and, uh, and get, get it started up. Uh, our friend Dave is asking for a little tour of the new side of the store. So I'm going to walk over here. And this is what's going on. I actually took down the uh, the mid-century modern art that was up there. And I'm going to put that through auction. It is signed by the artist on the back. And um, we've got this beautiful beaded cow skull that I put up there just temporarily. 
I hate having antiques over on this side because this is not the intention. But sometimes you get big stuff like this 1950s dollhouse and I don't have anywhere better to put it. I guess the auction, it will go. So this is what I'm doing. I'm going around, walking, taking stuff uh, off the shelves and getting ready, keeping the store nice and clean on this side. Look, we're selling out of our hot chocolate. We sold out, um, Monica who's here, bought every single last one of our pink mermaid hot chocolate. I guess her and her friends enjoyed that one. So it's uh, another busy day. All right, so without further ado, I am going to finish getting ready for the auction sale. I'm going to start packing things up, but um, thank you so much for uh, watching the unboxing. I've got some toys to go through at home and slowly but surely I will build that collection back up again and it will look fantastic. So have a wonderful day guys. We'll see you all soon and as always, bye for now. Bye guys.